Hello students. Uh, by now you have read Richard Swenson's chapters from the book Margin and you have aced a quiz, I hope, on that. So the concepts should be pretty solid in your mind at this point. The next step is to apply those uh, to a written piece, which I'm calling cleverly SA2, which will be about the concept of margin applied to your own life. And as you have seen from the prompt, there are two approaches. You can look at all four kinds of margin, or you can focus on emotional margin, uh, which is the one that was focused on very intently in the second of the two chapters. So the way the first one would work is you would look at all four. And this one is really tidy, especially if you're kind of nervous about writing. Um, this is your first big uh, essay for the class. Uh, you may want to choose this one because it practically organizes itself. We're looking at a six paragraph essay. The first paragraph would be your introduction. You start with a hook, something to grab the reader's attention. You say maybe two or three sentences summarizing Swenson's concept, and then you give a thesis saying how it applies to your life. And it may be that your financial margin is pretty good. Maybe you're living at home, uh, so far, your parents haven't um, uh, started to charge you rent. Maybe you're carrying a 25-hour-a-week job, and then you're just paying insurance on the car, and you're able to, to be saving some money. Uh, but maybe your emotional margin has been kind of thin lately. Um, things are not going great with your girlfriend, maybe. Or um, you have some other friends that are, that are always saying, oh, let's go out, let's go out, let's go out. And, those friendships have gotten a little bit frayed because you're trying to study and you're trying to, to do keep up your work hours. Um, maybe uh, you have some extra responsibilities at home uh, of caring for um, an aging grandmother or something like that. And these things can sap your physical energy as well. Maybe you're not sleeping well. Maybe um, you haven't been able to get to the gym. So you just look at, at all four of those kinds of margin, and you, you evaluate yourself. I'm thin in this one, but I'm really solid in this one. This one's getting better. Margin is getting wider uh, because I broke up with my girlfriend. And even though there was some emotional stress during that time period, I think we're really, we were really not good for each other. And so I'm starting to feel better about myself. Um, so that's one approach. The next approach, the other approach, would be to look at emotional margin. And if you remember from the chapter, he said that even though we are in a country where even with COVID-19, uh, our infrastructure is so much better than so many other countries, uh, our economic status is better than so many other countries, we have a country with beautiful natural uh, wonders um, and uh, just things seem to be going pretty well in our country but maybe not in terms of our emotional and mental health because we're so uh, pressed to, to work harder put in more hours achieve 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 every minute needs to be filled we can't just sit down and smell the coffee or smell the roses or chat with our neighbors Many of us don't know our neighbors. We, um, our garage door goes up, we go into our little pod, garage door goes down. We're not out chatting uh, on our front porches. We don't feel like we can afford it. Uh, we're filling every, every minute. And so in this particular uh, approach to the paper, you would just focus on your emotional margin. And you would say, here are the things that are sapping my emotional margin. Here are the things that are stressing me out. Here are the things that are making me mentally and emotionally not healthy. And then you maybe talk about the, the second part of this chapter includes his Rx's or his prescriptions. And you say, well, I'm, I'm using this one. Um, I'm, I'm making sure that I have a community of support. Uh, I'm getting more involved with my church or I have a bowling league, which I think is really important. I sing in a choir, and every Monday night I, I grunt, I'm grumpy about it. Oh my gosh, i got to spend three hours with this uh, taskmaster choir director who's going to make us sing the same line 
of a particular song 22 times until we get it right. And then I come home really invigorated. Uh, I need that, and I don't have it right now. We're not, we're not singing. And so you realize that there's certain things in your life that you need, these social connections. He talks about pets. He talks about laughing. He talks about crying. He talks about envisioning a better future. And maybe you look at those 14 and you realize, man, I'm only doing three out of the 14. Let me try a few of those. Uh, and so you can talk about where your emotional status is now, what's sucking it up, uh, sucking up your, your reserve of emotional strength. The whole idea of margin is, is that you need to have something left over and available for difficult situations that come up. And you'll find that when you are tempted to kick your dog or you snap at your spouse uh, or you bang the desk, it may not be that immediate thing that's causing the problem. It's, it's a buildup of emotional things that have been um, rising and, and cresting uh, over maybe weeks or months because your emotional margin is thin. And so it's just a self-investigation. By the way, can you use I in this paper? Can't imagine how you couldn't. I know some of you have been trained not to, but uh, obviously you would have to. This is not just a paper about margin in general, although you'll cover that in your first paragraph and you will cover it on and off during the rest of the paper. But you're applying those concepts of load and power um, and seeing how much load you have, how much power you have to deal with that load, and is there a deficit. Um, either in the four categories, one approach, the first one I described, or uh, just in the category of emotional margin. You're going to use two citations from Richard Swenson. Um, you can use more. Um, you can use other sources as well. There's a lot of information out there about stress and about emotional health and statistics about suicide. and There's all kinds of things that you can draw from other sources, but those are not required. Just margin uh, the book. For, uh, for this paper. So that's those are the default assignments. Um, I've had students in the past, I've done this assignment about three or four semesters now, who've done some other interesting things as well. I had one young man who said over one particular summer, he suffered from too much margin, particularly time margin. He wasn't working, he wasn't going to school. He thought, oh, this is going to be the best summer ever. And it turned out not to be. He's waking up at one o'clock in the afternoon, playing video games till nine, and then he realizes, what have I accomplished today? And uh, his mother is glaring at him, trying to get him to do chores, and you know, he, he takes naps even after getting up at one o'clock, and he realizes that, uh, what a lot of people have realized now, we need something called eustress, E-U-S-T-R-E-S-S, -E -S -S, which is good stress. Um, stress up to a point is healthy. So he wrote about that. And we had an interesting discussion in my spring class about how the new um, governor's directives about COVID-19 had affected our margin. For some people, their emotional margin uh, went up or down because they're spending more time with their family, and that may be a good or bad thing, depending. Um, and then a lot of people are suffering from financial margin being thinned because they lost their job. Guy at Burger King... We were pulling in $4,000, I think he said a day, and now it's about $1,000. And people are being cut from the, the roster, and things were tougher. So those are your choices. Hopefully this video has been helpful. And use the prompt, use me via email, go back and look at this video another time, and uh, write the best paper you can. Uh, this is an interesting topic. I think you'll find it very valuable. And I look forward to reading your papers. Bye.